Hello and welcome back to another Touch Designer tutorial. This time you will learn how to create this beautiful and vibrant color tunnel effect, which some of you might know from Pass Arrow's Instagram post. I will take his Instagram in the description. As always, a quick overview of the network first. Basically, we just turn a noise pattern into a SOP, extrude it and instance it with a variety of patterns and a color ramp. Then we just add some ambient occlusion and an optional material. Let's do it. We start with creating the basic shape for this project with a circle, a noise top and a rectangle which we scale to 1 and 1. Connect the circle and noise in a composite. Now connect the rectangle and the composition in another composite, which is set to over. With a tray sop, we can turn the top into a sop model. These settings worked fine for me. A threshold of 1, fit to curves on, fitting error 0.1, convert to poly on and also whole faces on. We need to play around with the noise top here till we get a shape that we like and that works with the tray sop. This part is the trickiest of this network, but once we have it, it's easy. So I'll try to find something nice here. Give me a second. This part here looks nice. You should have a squared plate now with the desired shape cut out. Play around on your own or use my parameters here. With an extrude sop with depth scale set to 0.05, we give it some thickness. Connect it to a null and plug it into a geocomp. Also create a render setup with light, camera and a render top. Open a second plane with a geometry viewer and split it again to also have a top viewer so we can see what's going on here. I like to view tops that way and turn off backdrop tops behind the network. Move the camera and light to 0, 0, 0 and turn the camera 180 degree on the y-axis. Add an RGB key and a null behind the render and also set your desired resolution. We can start now to create data for instancing. First, create a constant with a null and call it instances. With this operator, we can control the number of instances easily. Then, create a pattern with a null. Reference the instance data to the length. Make two copies of it. Call the nulls position, rotation and scale. Go to the geocomp and turn on instancing. Drag and drop the nulls for position, rotation and scale to the corresponding field. For position and rotation we only use the data on the z-axis. For scale I use it on x and y, but if you want you can also use it on the z-axis. Set the constant value to 30 for now. You can play around with that later. Alright, time to set up some nice patterns which control our instances. For the position we want the instances to spread straight along the z-axis. To do that I set the type to ramp and the amplitude to 4, but adjust it to your likings. Also activate the reverse toggle. Next we adjust the pattern shop for the rotation values. For smooth rotation set the number of cycles to 7.5, animate the face with apps time.seconds times 0.1 and set the amplitude to 5. The amplitude represents the rotation angle. The higher the amplitude the more rotation will happen to our instances. I want the instances to be big in front of the camera and get a lot smaller the further away they are. 
to do that, set the number of cycles here to 0.25, taper to 0.25 and 1.5, and the taper decay rate of 0.2. The possibilities here are endless and you can play around with different patterns here. Also try to experiment with animating the face, for example. Almost done, just some color and some details are missing. For the color, create a ramp top with a resolution set to the following. For X, reference the instance data and Y, 1. Connect the null and in the Geocomp activate the second instance toggle and drop it into the color OP. Choose R, G and B. Back to the ramp, animate the face with apps time dot seconds times 0.1 and choose any colors you like. I go with some warm red orange colors here. That looks already beautiful, right? But I want to show you how it looks with the material and an environment map. For that, create a Fong material and also import an ArchDRI image. I will use the one that comes with Touch Designer. Set it as an environment map on the material. Hey, so shiny. Try different environment maps here and you can get really cool effects with it. But I prefer to do it without material. So yeah, I will deactivate it. One last step will give it some smooth ambient occlusion. For that you need a good graphics card though. On my RTX 3060 it runs very well though. So insert an SSAO top behind the render and adjust the parameters to the following. Sample directions 20, sample steps 30, SSAO pass resolution to full, contrast down to 0.8 and blur radius to 10. That's it. You can easily make it audio reactive by using audio data to control the position, rotation or size of the instances. Also play with the noise in the beginning. You might find some interesting shapes by accident. Now hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. More tutorials are coming your way. And as always, peace out.